Hey guys, I'm Victoria and welcome back to Femhead. Today I want to talk about an app I've started using recently that I have totally fallen in love with and that's why I want to talk to you about it today. So I've been using cycle charting apps for a number of years now. I think it started with an app that had a very generic name like period tracker app. And then I moved to using an app called Clue, which I've talked about. I will link that video in the description or somewhere, <laughs> who knows. But then I got the Daisy fertility monitor, which I've talked about, which I also link. And I kind of fell out of love with the app Clue because I wanted it to be more customizable. So I started relying more on the Daisy and less on charting. And that worked great because I had total confidence and still have total confidence in the Daisy's ability to tell me where I am in my fertile phases. But recently I've kind of gotten a, an urge to get more detailed in my charting. And it was actually from talking to one of my coaching clients. She uses Kandara. I think she was showing me something on her Kandara where she had put the different colors of the daisies into the chart. And I was like, oh, it's awesome. You can do that. And so I was like, I'm gonna give it a go. And I did, and I wanna talk about why I love it today. So yes. Let's talk about that. First off, I just visually love the Kandara app, how it looks. I love, love, love how the temperature is overlaid on top of the cervical fluid chart. Something about them being on top of each other makes it visually click for me. I'm a very visual learner, a very visual person. And so having those things connected just makes more sense to me. And I think it would make so much more sense as you're learning it to kind of see how the two things correlate rather than having your temperature chart and then below that have your cervical fluid chart. It just makes more sense having the two of them together. I also like how the cervical fluid chart is laid out in comparison to some other apps I've used. I like how they're like graph bars almost instead of you fill them in with a different shade or a dot or dot in a circle depending on spotting or menstruation. I like that it goes menstruation. It has something completely different for spotting. It has actual spots. It kind of like works your way down. I like that you have to go in and manually click peak day and then and it will add your one, two, three, four count after peak day. And this has helped me see something that I already knew, but it made it very apparent. Once you click peak day, it will count off your luteal phase. And I saw that my luteal phase this past cycle was actually nine days and a healthy luteal phase is supposed to be 11 to 14 days. So I have a short luteal phase and I start spotting too soon and I spot too long. And this leads into something else I'm gonna talk about later on in a different video, which is a progesterone deficiency, which I think I have. One thing I wanted to talk about that was confusing for me at first, but it makes perfect sense now, how to create a cover line in this app. I like Googled how to do it and I couldn't figure out how to do it, but it's so simple. You just click on the graph, anywhere on the graph and hold it and a purple line will appear. And then you can move that line to wherever your cover line needs to be. But beyond that, I love that you can chart pretty much anything you want to. At the top, I have the three different colors of my daisy. And then I'll have like how I slept, whether I had insomnia, whether I had eight hours or less than eight hours, my energy level, my mood, whether I was traveling, bloated, acne, I had middle schmerz, like you can do anything. And I absolutely love that. That was definitely what I was looking for when I was looking for more detailed charting. And it's not necessarily things that are going to show you whether you're fertile or not. Like it doesn't necessarily help you prevent pregnancy, but there's so much to charting beyond preventing pregnancy or achieving pregnancy. And that's what I really wanted to get into. And I, that's what I found from this app. So one thing I want to add about this app is it doesn't predict when you are fertile. It is just simply a really great app that you can chart onto and then you yourself have to implement the guidelines and the rules to know when you're in your fertile phase and therefore need to avoid sexual intercourse to not get pregnant. And I like that and I just think it's just this beautiful app in which to chart and it makes implementing the rules and seeing it all laid out just so much easier for me personally and I think for a lot of people because I've seen a lot of people using the Kandara app. So if you're curious about how I combine using the Kandara app with using the Daisy to chart my cycle and to prevent pregnancy, I made a video about that. I will link it to maybe up here or maybe down here, both if I'm talented enough and I remember. But yes, if you wanna know about that, go check it out. And if you yourself are ready to start learning about charting your cycle, if it's something you're interested in, and I think once you kind of start learning about it, you're like, yeah, of course, like I wanna know what's going on within my body and my cycle and all that jazz. Head on over to femhead.com. I have a great course called Chart Your Cycle, and it's the perfect one for newcomers to any sort of charting method to learn the basics of the symptothermal method to be specific, to see if it's right for you and it's something you can implement into your life 
in one way or another. And yes, that is what I have to say today. Thank you so, so much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.